fog is so hard and we don't know why. Don't get me wrong, it's still fast. This thing is still fast. I was wheeling up the hill, it's fast. It's just not fast enough for Lillian. Yeah, I thought you did really good. That inside before the triple, that was working good for you. You were making up some time. If you're not gonna hit the triple, you might as well go the inside there. It's really choppy, I don't know. I might have to find a line, but I'm so tired. It's kind of hard to go super fast because there's constantly kids passing me because they're literally cutting the track. You know the step down that they add for like the national? Right, kids are cutting they that? cut that and go onto the road jump. What? They're cutting the track. There's kids cutting the track and I'm like, what? These Cali kids, dude. I swear, these Cali kids. You don't cut wash shoe, dude. Today is the day, or it's the day before the day. Tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the Loretto Lynn Regional Moto One race. We're out here at Washougal. Today's practice day. I signed up Lillian for two practices so she can get as much track time as possible and, and uh, try to get comfortable with the track. And I think she's riding really good. I think she's riding smooth and um, the track is rutted in spots, but she's doing really good in the rut. So uh, she's got two practices down and I think she's got two more sessions to go. And uh, so far so good. Man, those ruts are developing so nice. Yeah. Practice number three, looks like Lillian's pulling in early. My bike's cutting out. What? It's cutting out. The bike's cutting out? Did you fall? No. It just started, it started cutting out. That boy! It's been so, these bikes have been so good to me. Until we needed them. Okay, so Lillian did pull over. She said her bike was cutting out. I just went and rode it. And yeah, like you have to get on it, but if you're in like second or third gear and once you get into it, it just hesitates and it's just like, eh. I don't think that it is the carburetor. I think it might be the electrical, which we can try to switch that on Lillian's old Super Mini. Before we do that, I had her to go have Shore ride it and see if he thinks the same thing that I do before we switch the, the electrical. Uh, I'm getting arm pump in my hand trying to unscrew this. <laughs> it's a little not perfect. Let's try this one. Here, put that on. It's dirty. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Then clean it. Dude, I smell so bad. You need a shower. Dude, short stinks. I was riding on the back of this with him and he smells so bad. <laughs> you're a jerk. He's trying to help you and you're like critiquing his yeah. body odor. Yeah, I was like, dude, don't you have deodorant? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, short said it's either the reeds, the spark plug. Spark plug, the power valve. These are the these are, I put Two new reads on already. Oh, okay. I took, uh, you can look at the broken one. This is the broken one. It's right here. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's hope that was it. <laughs> Problem. It's usually you. Sounds better. Oh yeah, let's see when he comes back. 
better, but it still does it a little bit, so. Okay. See how many we got? 196. 196 hours. Or I used to put both of those on. No, wait, no, we didn't. They had like 69 we got it. How many more hours do you think it's good for? Forever. <laughs> I just want to give this bike to someone and have just fix like... Only 120 hours on this one. Did you guys buy the other one used too? Yeah, yeah we bought them both from Edge. Both she is. Like It seems worse. Really? You want to go ride it in the field? Oh. You want me to ride it in the field? Good boy. There you go. Now you got to do it. I don't know. What do you think? This thing is just bogging so hard and we don't know why. Don't get me wrong, it's still fast. This thing is still fast. I was wheeling up the hill, it's fast. It's just not fast enough for Lillian. <laughs> To me, the bottom was good, mid to top. Yeah. 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 A little bit. It looks rich, if anything, but that's not. That's not going to cause it to pop like that. Man. Yeah, it looks good. All right, trying to get Josh to the needle. Well, today did not really turn out as planned. I was planning on getting to the track. Lillian practicing me filming some content then I had some things that I was gonna talk about I had a, like a brand that I was gonna promote and then I figured about 5 5 30 I would head home and then start editing um, past content getting a video done and getting well rested for tomorrow that is not the case it is 5 50 right now and I'm running to the bank which I'll explain in a second but yeah so we got to the track Lillian was riding great the first two sessions I didn't film it all because I figured I'll wait until she's comfortable when she's riding her best, then I'll pull out the camera. Unfortunately, session three was when her bike started acting up and she pulled off. We changed the spark plug. We changed the carburetor. We put the old carburetor or the, the carburetor from Lillian's old bike onto her new bike. We changed the reeds. Josh had an extra set of reeds. When I say we, by the way, when I say we changed, uh, Josh changed the reeds. And still nothing. There's still a bog in the mid range somewhere. He said that he feels like the power valve is moving. I guess maybe some things we could try from here are changing the stator with the old bike. But for right now, I just dropped off Lillian so she could go shower. I have to run to the bank because Last night, I signed Lillian up for the practice today. I signed her up for two sessions, $40 each, $80, plus I paid for the gate fee, $40 each. I paid $160 for Lillian to go do this practice. 
today. I did not sign her up for the race tomorrow because, okay, there there is a chance that she could get hurt or have a bike problem. So I'm not gonna pay 150 bucks when there's no refunds. And then if she got hurt today, then we'd be out the money. So I, trying to be responsible with the uh, resources I have, I did not pay for Lillian to do the race. Get there this morning. We get in the gate, no problem. I go up to the tower to get our little race tickets that we paid for. The lady at the tower says, are you signed up for the race tomorrow? I said, no, not yet. And she said, well, you can't practice then. I said I paid for it. I said I signed up and I paid for it, so I would like to be able to have my daughter do the practice. She said, not my problem. She said, if this is Loretta's, you can't just show up at a Loretta's practice without doing the event. So I said, well, I didn't bring cash because I thought that like today was paid for and then tomorrow I would have to pay for it. Apparently, you can pay online with a card. You cannot pay in person with a card. You need to pay uh, cash in person. So we were kind of screwed like I didn't have money on me by the way if you ever go to one of these events bring a million dollars with you just to be safe just make sure you bring a million dollars just so you have it in case you need it in hindsight if I had to run to the bank to get cash to sign Lillian up for the practice tomorrow she would have missed the first two practices and she would have been able to do the last two practices her bike would have ran great until tomorrow and then we would have been having these problems luckily Josh loaned me the hundred and sixty dollars it cost to do do the race tomorrow so i was able to pay that and uh, lillian was able to do the first two practices now her bike's having problems and then now we hopefully have time to get it fixed for tomorrow needless to say i gotta run to the bank get back up to the track hopefully figure out what's going on and get her bike dialed for tomorrow just got back to the track and josh is gone and the bike is gone called him gone. he's like yeah he's like we're on our way to mexico no josh said that the bike's running great he figured it out he said it's running awesome and he left so let's just cut till tomorrow tomorrow it's day two back at washugal making our way to the line lillian's moto lining up she's the last photo of the day she's been resting watching races getting some good nutrition it's go time Oh, yeah, good fun. Come on. Top four overall out of this one transfer on to Loretta's. They did uh, no practice this morning and no sight lap. So her first lap on the track will be her sight lap. Uh, Corbin says road jump, stay to the left side, it's smoother. When you're coming back down, stay on the left side, it's smoother. We usually do that on the left. Really? Maybe Corbin's wrong, we'll find out. Go get him, Myla. We got this. Oh man, what's your name? Aiden. Aiden? Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.
third and fourth and fifth, still pretty close. Isla moves up into second. Nice job, Isla. I think she's pretty comfortably in four, so I think this could be the time to just ride conservative. White flag out for Turner. 237. Man, I'm, I'm glad she's in fourth, but she, she was riding way better yesterday. And then I came out fourth, so and I just stayed there. I sat it, I like could not go fast. Dude, oh my God. You did amazing. That was so fun to watch you guys. Dude, the track oh, was Jordan, so bad. Hey. Yeah, we got so we celebrate tomorrow though. Yeah, that's great. If you guys could have just done that in like an hour ago, that would have been perfect. All right, oh, ladies. Wow, that's, that's cool. I'm done riding. Something, my butt. Okay, do it again. <laughs> 
right, so I, I know everyone's wanting to hear the update, what happened, why it wasn't Lillian's bike working yesterday. So Josh said that he put on a self-adjusting carburetor on Lillian's bike yesterday, and it was working perfect, but then this morning it wasn't. So he went to change out uh, the spark plug cap to see if that was a problem, and he said there was a grounding screw which was loose, so he just tightened it, and then ever since then it's been working perfectly. So we don't know if it was the carburetor or not, but just to be safe, we're leaving the self-adjusting carburetor on there just not to mess with it. In the race, Lillian didn't have any problems with the bike. I think the bike is running great. Tomorrow's gonna be very interesting because she got fourth, but fifth was closing in on her, but Lillian wasn't pushing it because she knew that she had it. So if Lillian has to push it tomorrow, hopefully she's got a little bit more speed on her. So tomorrow's gonna be very interesting. It could go very, uh, it could go either way. Like she's gotta get fourth or better. If she doesn't get fourth, our next backup plan is to go to California to Sacramento in a few weeks to try to qualify there. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping financially we don't have to make that trip, but uh, it is it is a backup plan if we need it. I'm not the best mechanic, but I'm super grateful for Josh Isla's dad because he took the time to work on Lillian's bike even though he was riding yesterday and today. Lillian is his daughter's competitor. He very easily could have been like, oh, sucks to be you guys. You're having bike problems. That's one less person we got to worry about, but he didn't have that attitude. He helped us out. Lillian's bike is running good and she's got a shot at it tomorrow. Good job not riding over your head, Lil. Thank you. That was perfect. Tomorrow is the day to ride over your head. Yeah. Tomorrow is the day to push yourself. I need to go faster tomorrow. Like, I know I can, but I struggle with these, like, when the track gets dry so much. If you're in that position tomorrow, or fifth is catching up to you, then that's the, that's the moment you need to risk everything. It's a little dirty, though. Okay, deal. Good talk.